YouTube, what is up guys? Today I got the Yo-Yo Factory Super Wide. So this is kind of an older yo-yo made by Yo-Yo Factory. And it's called Super Wide because it's... I mean the thing's ah. fucking wide. Look, look at this. <laughs> it's like really, really wide. Um, kind of normal diameter. I'll put the specs on the screen. I don't have the box. This was actually sent to me from Tom over at Throws and Brews on this big like random mystery box he sent me. Um, and so thank you. Thank you, Tom. Shout out to him. And uh, really funny. It's got like a um, little marker all over it where it's like got dings. Like somebody, I don't know, they had to point him out with like arrows and circles. And it's kind of funny. Uh, the bearing is actually really nice. It's, it's one of these old flat ones they used to have that say Yo-Yo Factory on them. So pretty cool. It's got white pads. Um, I'll grab the camera, do some little close-ups before we play with it. Um, but yeah, you know, no thumb grind lip, but it's a giant massive cup, so you could still thumb grind on it, I'm sure. I'm sure you can finger spin on it. Um, this be, to me, it's just like, this is something I would just play 5A with, you know, most likely. But yeah, they're actually kind of nice. I've always thought these were kind of, they look pretty cool and interesting. I never got my hands on one. I do think it's funny, though. I like when you compare it to like a new Yo-Yo Factory, like a new Yo-Yo Factory would never have this crap all on the outside where it says like, made in, you know, wherever the hell it's made and all this shit. You would never, you know, here's like a new Yo-Yo Factory, you know, it's got like two little logos on it, that's it. Um, but yeah, really cool, unique design. I don't know if these things play good or not, totally new, never played with one. Played with other wide Yo-Yos like this. I'm so kind of excited. So, I guess, um... Why don't we just uh, go over there and see what happens. Okay, let me start off by saying this yo-yo, it's like 10 years old. It was made in 2010. And, well, first thing, I don't know if these pads are just really warm, or if these white pads are this slippy, but it's really slippy. But I like my yo-yos, like, I don't know, a lot more snaggy than this. <laughs> Yeah, definitely not the yo-yo for regens, you can do them, but not the one for that. But for learning Eli hops and stuff, this is definitely the type of yo-yo you want. I mean, it's so freaking big, you're not going to miss it. Um, for learning, like, this would be great, too, if you're, like, first getting into unresponsive, and you just got to get used to, like, landing the trapeze, like, landing the double or not. Well, some of these tricks will actually be harder, because you'll accidentally hit two strings, but for the most part, just learning how to like, you know, do your basic back and forths, your basic hops, um, your basic whips. Like this thing is super easy to whip on. Also, too, the response is the opposite of snaggy, so you're not gonna snag. But I'm I'm having to concentrate really hard to get these binds to happen, and I'm feeling it slip out a little. I'm not getting as hard of a throw as I like. But yeah, it's like, yeah, see, like, that normally will bind it, but it didn't bind there. Um, okay, maybe I messed that up because the width threw me off a little and I got, whoa, see, like, it didn't bind there. I almost hit it on the ground. Yeah, you can figure spin. It just doesn't get these tight binds, you know, so it's hard to bind it. But that... And there's a flat bearing in there too. I could just put in different pads, or I could lube the bearing a little and fix that problem. But other than that, I mean, it's not a bad yo-yo. There is a vibe to it. Granted, this is a B grade, so I don't know if it can't, if it always has vibe, or if it just has vibe because it's a B grade. And what the deal is, I have no freaking clue. Oops. Yeah, but very, very easy to whip. Come on, my string's not 
cooperating with me here. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hate the pads. Other than that, I actually really kind of like it. It's pretty fun. Besides it being uh, a little vibey, like it grinds really good. The, you know, the finish is good and everything. To me, yeah, I probably normally would use this more for 5A, but 5A, I like my yo-yos even more responsive. Yeah, like, I like them even more responsive because I learned 5A on, like, yo-yos that were responsive, like a Duncan Freehands with, like, slim A bearings. So, I hate playing 5A with really unresponsive yo-yos, but I'm going to try it anyways. But, yeah, if this had new pads, I wish, but who knows, maybe just back in the day, these were the pads that Yo-Yo Factory put in there because, you know, or they're the original pads in this yo-yo got a lot of use, so I don't know. Because, do they look that worn? Oh yeah, they're pretty chewed up. They're pretty worn. These, they actually look like the clear pads that got cloudy. So I think that these are just super worn and I should have put new pads in for the video. So it probably wouldn't be as bad as uh, I'm making the yo-yo look. <laughs> but anyways, let me grab slightly thicker string. I'm going to grab my... Like uh, my bubble vicious, it's a little thicker than this, and we're gonna put on some dice and we'll see what happens. Shit. All right, guys. Uh, okay, so I'll see how this goes. The string is a little thicker, so it's still still a little snaggy, but the yo-yo actually feels really good. Weighted for five a. Also, too, yeah, the, like, I've always liked wider yo-yos like this for 5A, in general. Yeah, very, just very easy to hit your strings. With the, this string, it definitely is playing a little better. But once again, I don't even think that's the yo-yo, I think that was just, the yo-yo is like heavily used. Who knows how many people have owned this thing. I don't think Tom was the original owner. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? It's it's kind of like a novelty yo-yo. Like it's super it's super wide. Obviously, it's called the super wide. But you know, it can it can do whatever. It's not bad by any means. If you if you got one that wasn't a B grade that didn't vibe, it actually be a pretty good yo-yo. This is nothing you're gonna be competing with. It's nothing you're gonna be you know doing anything. You know you know you'll be able to you'll you could do whatever with it, but it's not gonna be something you say you're filming like your all your best tricks you've ever done. You're not gonna pick this yo-yo. But for just goofing around around the house, or if you're first trying to learn tricks that are harder for you to land on the string, harder, harder whip tricks, harder slack tricks, um, something like this will be a little easier. Um, kind of like training wheels, like you learn it on this first and then try it on your other yo-yos. Um, having a just a crazy differently big yo-yo is just a cool thing to have in your collection too, to just change it up. Uh, there's too many yo-yos nowadays that they're all the same shape and stuff. So even though this yo-yo was made 10 years ago, it's still really cool to go back on it. And they had, there's not been too many yo-yos like this made in the, in the last 10 years. So, you know, maybe that's because um, people thought the shape sucked. Maybe it's because, uh, whatever the reason. Um, I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. And a uh, fun little thing that I had fun playing with today, you know? So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if there's any other like weird yo-yos I've never reviewed that you guys want to see me review. Um, or any new up and coming cool yo-yos or whatever just whatever you guys want to see i was like hearing it down below um thank you guys for watching i'm gonna keep playing with this thing a little bit but i'm gonna turn off the camera because i got stuff to do so i'll see you later and peace out